in the shop. About to pop the video off. Got to get cleaned up before I t before the two strand uh, twist pop off. A lot of y'all be in the comment section asking me the name of the, of the cut. I get a ball fade. That's what it's called. Ball fade. I feel like the low fade don't last that long. The bad, the ball fade lasts last longer. Yeah, so the ball fade and then no tape on the front and then just light tape on it on the, uh, the edge right here. Happy New Year. All right, we in the trap, AKA the barbershop. Fellas, or even ladies, if you go into the barbershop, you're getting anything done to your hair, please, I will tell y'all this off the top, do not be afraid to communicate with your barber. A lot of people, a lot of people I talk about it like, yo, I wish I could talk to my barber how you talk to your barber. I wish my barber cut my hair like yours. You need to talk and communicate with your barber and say that you are paying them for this service. They have open ears. Do not be timid and do not let a barber test drive on your dome piece, on your crown, on your head top. Once again, this is a ball fade. Some people get low fades. I don't feel like they last long. Some people get like drop fades. That's like in between a ball fade and a low fade. I get a ball fade and I get that. And then I don't get no tape at the top because I got enough forehead. I just get the edges tapped up and that's it. Because I tell them I don't need no super duper crispy tape line like old school Steve Harvey, Jamie Foxx vibes. I just need a nice natural tape that's what i want i don't want my joint i don't want to see my hair growing back in a tape line so basically that's what i got going on here i don't know why he got the little ugly ass um uh joint wrapped around me but it is what it is y'all already know it's go owls and um this is the finishing product of the cut man the, the fade looks crispy wispy these haircuts probably last me like a week week and a half to be honest well i just i just like my joint to be crispy so i'll be in here like every week no lie it's like 25 dollars a cut when I first started going, it was like 10, 15, but now it's big body 25. But it is it, what it is. Inflation is inflation. Back with another twist out video, baby. Woo! We butt booty naked in the shower. I didn't do an intro. I had to jump y'all right into it. Just wanted to show y'all the barbershop vibes. I was the only person in the barbershop. It was New Year's Day. That's when I recorded this video. We get straight into this drum in the shower. You hit an echo. Two strand twist out. I'm back at it. It's like literally, I mean, I did a couple of them already. I've gotten better. Y'all gonna see the vibe. Today we showering with, this is what we doing for the shampoo. That's what we doing for the shampoo right there. And this is what we're uh, using for the um, the conditioner right here, As I Am. So boom, we got the uh, the shampoo and the shea moisture and As I Am is going to be the conditioner. And I'm also doing the twist out with product from uh, As I Am also. I'll show that to y'all later. Smash the like button. Doing here, you made it this far. I took you to the barbershop with me. If you're new, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Let's roll, I'm about to shower and wash my hair. Y'all like this part when I'm in the shower. I had to take my nipples out this joint because y'all were having too much fun in the comment section. Here go a nipple, oh, let me cover my, my goodies up. Boom, just gave y'all a little bit of nipple whipple just now. Probably gonna get demonetized now, just playing. Just wetting my hair up. It just feels so good just to wet my hair, get a little bounce in it, especially when it's been in braids or anything for a week or two. There she is. Um, next, I'm gonna do the shampoo. You see the sheer moisture. That's how much I used on my head. I try to apply evenly. Sometimes I add a little bit of extra extra in there. I love this portion of washing my hair, really getting up on that scalp all the way to the end of my hair, the body, the legs, make sure everything is good. I get ears, neck, behind the joint, just, just all up in the crevice of everything, especially where those braids were and it feels lovely. Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, that's cute. Don't lie, screenshot that, send it to me on Twitter somewhere, or DM on Instagram. But then we back at it. And then I just make sure I just take my time in this portion because I don't double up anymore like, like I used to. I used to do double shampoo joints. Y'all be like, oh, that's not good for your hair. Dry your hair out. So I listen. I'm trying to tell y'all be in the comment section. Let that thing rinse. That's how my baby looks straight out of having some shampoo in there. Boom. Give y'all a little quick spin. Let y'all know what the whole dome piece look like. See, it got a little bounce. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that thing got a little bounce. I'm getting tired of y'all little shot Sideshow Bob <laughs> comments and whatever. I didn't hear that 212 times, but um, that's a little bounce bounce. I'm listening to some music while I'm doing this. And then we're gonna be onto the shampoo as I am coconut, co-wash, I mean, onto the conditioner. Conditioner, put the conditioner in there. That's how much I'm using. Put it all over. It smell delicious, as you can see. Boom, get it nice and even all around the dome piece. And then from there, as I massage and moisturize, make sure the conditioner's evenly and everywhere in my hair. I'm gonna detangle my hair with my fingers. Now I did this a little bit before I started recording. I just couldn't show y'all the pain in my the damn faces I was making trying to detangle, but got that thing detangled with my fingers. 
And then after I do it with the fingers, I go through it with a beep, 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 beep. That's all the hair loss right there, just from finger to tangling. With a beep, 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 body comb right there. And just comb straight through that thing with the conditioner. Make sure that conditioner is touching everything from the roots to the tips. And that's all around. And I really take my time. As y'all can see, people that was giving me a hard time in the comment section, I turned my water off this time. You know, trying to save the world, heal the world, make it a better place for you and me and still dance and get my jam on while I'm cold in the shower now, a little nippily. Then I part my hair and I part my hair and I'm tied the to top up and I just go through it with the dimming brush. You know what I'm saying? With the conditioner in it. Sometimes I feel like I should put a little bit more conditioner in it because I feel like the brush is combing the conditioner out of my hair. But looking at it right now on camera, it looks like it's pretty much in there. And then you even see a slow-mo shot. I see a little bounce to the ounce in there. But my hair is really pulling pretty long for washing and conditioning in the shower. It used to be like a lot more sponged up. Like after, yeah, you see a little, little bounce. See them curls back there popping? And then I just section that part off, tie that up, move to the next section, part that thing up from the side, and then just evenly just making sure I'm just combing it through with the dimming brush and from the roots to the tip and you can just see same thing there looks fresh looks clean and we do that right there and nice and evenly and then i knock out the rest of my head and then that's pretty much it for the conditioner portion so i would say i literally had this conditioner in my head probably like doing all this maybe like five to ten minutes which is dope sometimes i get out the shower and keep the conditioner in there and put like a little bag or something on my head and let the conditioner sit in there for 20 or 30 you know what i'm saying depending on how i'm feeling and how much time i have but you see that thing ooh. Ooh, bouncy, bouncy, ah. After I wrap that up, I just rinse all the conditioner out of my head. And fellas at home, you doing this, you know what I'm saying? Make sure, you gotta make sure the conditioner is all the way out of your head. Do not leave no conditioner in your head. Rinse that thing out, look at that thing. Boom, that's me after. You see them curls popping on the edge. You see the curls popping on the edge. Peep the little hair towel, you know what I'm saying? I got to dry my hair off from Tracy Ellis Ross, her line. I'm tapping it, I'm patting it. I seen it in the comment section on that one. Y'all was like, you too aggressive. You shouldn't be doing all that. Just a light, gentle pat, pat. So what I was getting, look, look. A pat, pat. You like a little patty, waddy? I get a little patty, waddy. All right, hold up, hold up. I got to show you how much hair I lost. There it is. It's been so long and I'm lost without you. Let me up. Huh, Time to get to it. So I parted one part of like my, I had my hair clean across with this like a uh, little rat tail comb. The central joint y'all need right now is a water bottle. This is straight water. As you move up in your head, fellas, if you're doing this at home, your hair will start to dry. Spray that joint. Spray that joint down. Don't let it dry. Hydration is key. And then I'm gonna go over with uh, the curling jetty. The curling jelly, the curling jelly from uh, As I Am. So that's what I'm using right here today. I'm gonna smack that through. I'm gonna use the dimming brush, brush each one out, and then do a little razzle dazzle and get my, my two strand twist on. So that's how we're gonna pop it. Part of this, I'm gonna spray this a little bit because my hair is already starting to dry. And then I'm gonna put the jelly in there, and then we're gonna roll like that. Pop it off already with a couple sprays. My hair tied up here, I got another hair tie just to tie the rest of my hair. I really could part this with my fingers. I just wanna see how many I'm gonna put in the back. Boom. Part the hair, I'm not using. Got the hair, I'm using. Open that thing up, that's what it look like. Hold up, I'm gonna tip it over. That's what it look like inside that thing. I want them things nice and juicy. Wet that thing up, let the juice in there. Get in there, get in there. Split that thing down the middle, and then we gonna start the twist. Boom. That's one bad boy right there. That thing hanging. That thing dangling. That thing swinging. Then we move on to the next. Oh, snap. Oh, no. You know what I forgot to do? What? I completely forgot to uh to comb out the first one with the dimming brush. Oops. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't attack me in the comment section. Comb them joints out like this first. My bad. I'm a little rusty. After you put the, the juice in there, you want to comb your joints out. Combed out, nice and juicy. Flip that thing, and then go back and get your twist on. Boom, so that's two of them right there. That's two down right there. If you're watching this and you about to go ham on me because I ain't using my brush on the first one, go head back and delete your comment. You hype. Relax your mind and your body and your soul. All right, now let's rock to the time lapse and speed this thing up. During this portion, you know what I'm saying? Fellas, you ain't do this in a while. It's, it's hard to see the back and make, sure, and make sure you have a straight line. I don't think it's that important. Um, but your arms will 
get fatigued and tired. Sometimes I wish when I did my two strand twist, they were a little closer to my head, but I think that just comes with practice in itself. You see what you see that thing got some length on it for a twist, but um, I just just comb them out with the dimming brush, put the uh, the little curl cream in there. I know it's not called curl cream. Every product I use is in the description, by the way. Um, and then just just stroll that thing out. If you're a brand watching this, y'all want to link up, collab. The email is down there. Also, don't be afraid. We could be great together. You know what I'm saying? This is a great opportunity. I, you, you see the viewy wooies. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're switching up here. Fellas be watching this too. Fellas be trying to get their two train twist on. They be trying to get their joint. We been, fellas, fellas, don't let nobody knock you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You might not have the ability and experience, but you still have to understand the majority of us men, the majority of us men, look at that. Ooh, have been natural have been natural our entire lives. I mean, we ain't never put no chemicals in our hair, no crazy stuff in our hair, no perms in our hair. We've been natural, bro. So this is already, we just gotta maintain and take care of it. And then overall, we can all just flourish and be great. This is your crown, fam. Take care of your dome piece. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Take care of your soul. I, I, I stole the soul part from like Soul Train Vibes. All right, the two strand twist portion has come to a wrap. Um, I let it air dry. I, never, I don't like normally sit up under dry or anything like that. I'm actually leave them in my head for like two days. So today, Wednesday, January 1st, I'm gonna come back on a Friday, untwist some joints and um, have the finished product. So let me know in the comment section what y'all think uh, so far. This is like my whole joint. Took me a higher clean, maybe an hour, a little over an hour. Uh, took, took some breaks here and there. And uh, they're not too big and they're not too small. Um, but as you see, my as my hair dries, it shrinks. Like you know, so my hair is like really, really longer than this. But um, tell me, tell me what y'all think. Like any ladies watching this video, when y'all do your two, two strand twists, do y'all normally do it with wet hair? Some people blow dry their hair. I actually watch salon videos that do two strand tw two strand twists, blow dry people's hair, and then do the twist. I guess you get that that long pull on your hair. Just tell me what y'all think in the comment section. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in two days for the twist out, and then we're gonna see what we got. You know what I'm saying? Is it better than my first joint? Am I getting better or what? Is this curly jelly from As I Am gonna work for my dome piece? I don't know. We shall see. Hey, real talk, real talk. I told y'all I'm gonna keep the two strands twist in for two days. I kept them things in for a big, 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 big Friday. It is Monday. I looked at y'all comments the last two strand twist I did, and I was like, yo, take your hair down with coconut oil. It'll help with the frizz, etc., etc., and the joint be looking healthy and juicy. I'll be reading y'all comments. I appreciate all the help and freaking tips that y'all be putting down there. The ladies that be coming over that's been doing this for a while, thank you. I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna do my little fluffer waffer. I got my little pick right here, you feel me? Got my little pick. We're gonna see what we're working with. I'm gonna do better this year with the hair videos. 2020 gonna be a new year. I'm talking about braids, twist out, everything. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna get this thing rolling. So let's take this thing down. All right, we are back. They are all twisted out. I had to go check in the bathroom. Sometimes I forget to twist some out. I think the a mistake I made this time or um, doing your own twist out or a two strand twist, sometimes one like strand of hair or like group of hair has more hair than it in the other one. So it's like, like when you twisted one skinnier than the other, like it's, it's weird. Like, so you're supposed to split the hair evenly after you part it. Sometimes I don't get that even hair on each one, and, but that's it. I think I need to trim. I gotta trim my edges. My ends are like way too frizzy, but here I am uh, pretty much before the fluff out. I also, I know this is not called a fluff out. I just I just say that. But you know what I'm saying? You do this to add more volume to your hair. And um, just give a little pull out here and there. Gently, gently lift. Gently, gently lift. Gently lift. Oh man, this looks like a little... Some of me, like some, some of my hair, they, it does what it, what it wants to do. My hair has different textures in different areas. Like the back is different right here. This is like awesome. It always works the best for me. The sides always work best. The front be tripping a little bit, but right now it's curling up, looking pretty good. Like right here, like this is I don't know what what the hell that is, but I mean, you can dress that up. Do like a half up, half down with the joint. I'm gonna give y'all a little spin so y'all can see the whole dome piece, man. This is pretty much what it's looking like and everything. Boom, here's a little slow-mo shake and bake. You see the twist in there, it kind of look like a little coily also, like a little mixture of both of them, but this is what we're working with. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Thanks for rocking with me. Slide, 
just do this in the back. This thing is be better. You're better than it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave some love in the comment section, some tips, all that great stuff. See y'all next time. Y'all want more of these videos? Subscribe. It's free. I got a whole playlist of this that's gonna pop up and turn your notifications on and smash that like button. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.